All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai or Chakodash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Chakodash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, pretty much uh, at Friday camp, we had a, uh, a scoffer, okay? You know, one that's, you know, ever learning but never able to come into the truth, as the scriptures say. You know, he uh, came up to us and pretty much had, um, he has that whole, uh, he believes in that whole philosophy of, you know, the Gentiles, you know, can get saved, okay? And that pretty much they're a uh, they're going to be a, a part of our, you know, inheritance, or they're going to take part. I'll say it like that. Let me re reword that. They're going to take part of our inheritance, okay? And um, I guess uh, according to the Elder Karab, they dealt with this guy before, all right? They called him KRS-One, <laughs> you know, because this dude looked exactly like him, all right? And, uh, you know, he scoffed years back, you know, when they first got into the truth, okay? You know, 15, you know, years ago. They were he he was scoffing then, and now he's scoffing now, you know. All right, and um, you know we were going back with this guy for about an hour. You know you you can see it if you want to watch it. It's um, it's on my page right here. All right, it's from the you know the May thirteenth you know camp session. All right, roundabout starting at the hour hour and eight minute mark somewhere around there. I forgot where it's at exactly, but um, it's around there. All right, so if you want to watch it, you can watch it. But I want to uh, basically elaborate, all right, and um, elaborate more on that situation, okay, and prove that the Gentiles, okay, they have no part, you know, of our covenant. They have no part of our inheritance, none of that, okay. Re in reality, they are our inheritance, according to Psalms 2 and 10, I believe it is, okay. You know, you see? You know, and everything that guy was saying, it didn't make any sense. And we were pulling out precept at the precept at the precept at the precept, you know, proving our point. All right. But let me start off with this here. We're going to start off in the book of uh, Ephesians, the uh, the 12th chapter. All right. And it reads here. This is Ephesians 12. You know, I'll start at 11. All right. We'll start at 11. This is Ephesians 12 uh, or 2 and 11. Wherefore, remember... That ye, that ye being in the time past Gentiles in the flesh Who are called uncircumcision By that which is called the circumcision in the flesh Made by hand That at that time ye were without Yahweh Shai Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel And strangers from the covenant of promise Having no hope And without the most high in the world All right now, I want to focus on this, that, that 12th verse, okay? Now, I said that we were Gentiles, okay? You see? They called us Gentiles. And the reason why Israelites were being called Gentiles was because they were practicing heathen customs, all right? And that was because the, uh, the fulfillment of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and the 64th verse came into play, I believe. All right? I believe it's that where it says that um, we're going to be scattered amongst all nations, and it talks about how um, we're going to uh, basically praise, you know, other gods of wood and, uh, and stone. Okay. Basically those idols. And you got to remember, um, idols come with what? Philosophies and ideologies. Okay. You see? That's what comes with it. You know, it's just not a, a statue. It's just not, you know, uh, you know, whether it be of wood or stone, that, that, that comes with a whole plethora of things, okay? You got to remember that, and that's what uh, happened to the Israelites. They, they were, you know, amongst all these other nations, and they started, you know, you know, uh, um, you know, following after, you know, the, the, the customs of the heathen. That's why the scriptures say, what? Learn not the way of the heathens, okay? All right? Because it's going to do what? It's going to discontinue you from your heritage, all right? You see? You know, and that's what happened to to to, to Israel, okay? And it, and it and it was um happened heavily during 
the uh, the Greek Empire. All right. You know, Hellenization. That's what happened during that time period. And that's when Jake became Gentiles. Okay. All right. And it says what? Whatsoever a man thinketh, that's what he is. Roughly paraphrasing it. That's in the book of Proverbs. So Jacob, instead of calling themselves Israelites, they were calling themselves Greeks. And that was because mainly it was forced upon them. Because when you were, uh, read that first Maccabees, okay, when you get into the history, our people were forced, if, you know, into, you know, calling themselves Greeks, into, you know, um, not getting circumcised, okay, wearing strange apparel, so on and so forth. All right, it tells you that. It gives you the breakdown of, of how Israelites became Greeks. All right. But uh, let me go back to that Ephesians uh, 2 and 12. It says that at that time you were without Yahweh Shai being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Now let's get a couple of these definitions. All right. I want to get that word uh, aliens. All right. Give it one second. For some reason, this thing is uh, freezing up. <laughs> I was having issues prior to this when I was looking up words. Look at this thing. Ridiculous. Here we go. This is, uh, okay, let's get that word stranger. Or aliens. All right. Okay, this is uh, aliens. It's up a up a la rail all right if i'm if i'm pronouncing that correctly and it says what a strange to be shut out from one's fellowship okay see we if, if when we became gentiles we weren't a part of that fellowship anymore with our people okay all right all right let me keep uh, going because i want to get there i think it's the word commonwealth that one is definitely it hits the point if I'm not mistaken if it was Commonwealth. Here we go. Hold on. Let's get that again. Where's Commonwealth? Yep, this is the one I wanted. All right, Commonwealth. Okay, and it goes into the uh, the word politia, politia in the Greek. Okay, and it's got a few definitions here. It says the administration of civil affairs a state or commonwealth citizenship the rights of a citizen okay so it says citizenship right so let's look up this word citizenship real quick all right citizenship it says the position or status of being a citizen of a particular country right now let me get this real quick because look you got to remember before countries are formed all right before countries are formed, it, it, it's a it, it's a people before a place. Okay, you have to remember that. Now let me get two scriptures here. We're gonna get one in um, Exodus five and five real quick. All right, to prove that. Or Ezekiel five and five. Excuse me. This is a uh, Ezekiel chapter five verse five. All right. And it says, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, This is Jerusalem." I've set it in the midst of the nations and countries that are around about her. Okay. And Jerusalem is supposed to be what? A city, correct? Is it not? So it said right there, it's going to, uh, the Lord's going to set us or set that city. Um, uh, um, in the midst of the nations and the countries that are around about her. Okay. So what it's really saying is Jerusalem, Jerusalem, meaning the people, they're going to be set, you know, in these countries. Okay, around about it. All right, and here's another precept. Okay, there's another precept that's gonna back up what I'm saying. This is um, Second Maccabees. Where's that? I say here we go. Second Maccabees. Uh, was it the fifth chapter? I think it's five and nineteen. Hold on, let me see real quick. Yep, Second Maccabees five and nineteen. It says, nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place sake, but the place uh, for the people's sake. Okay, so it's a people before a place. Remember that. So with that being said, going back to that definition, okay, of citizenship, you have to be a citizen of a particular country, okay? And like I, it, we just pulled those out. A country is a people before a place. So you have to be an Israelite, okay, in order to be a part of what? That commonwealth, okay? Okay, which a commonwealth is 
basically uh it, it, it's like uh what's the word i'm looking for um it's basically like goods and things that you share amongst one another okay you know you basically your inheritance and that's and i'll say this that's why i was uh, uh telling that guy why would why would we share our inheritance that the lord gave us with the heathens that makes no sense we were with, with, with uh, real strangers, okay? People that are, you know, that aren't a part of this. That makes no sense. And then like how the Elder Krav made a statement in that, um, during that, um, that, you know, during the camp session, he said, not only have these people that, you know, that, that they're aliens from us, they're not a part of our, um, uh, you know, our nation. These people treated us terribly. So why would they, get, you know, get a piece of the pie? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Okay. All right. Now let's go back to that. Um. Oh yeah, another thing too. I wanted to add. E even with that, um, because alien means strange, uh, basically strangers, right? I'll say this. Doesn't Jake? This is a a, a common thing amongst Jake. Uh, Jake, right? When you have somebody that's you know part of the family and they they haven't been around for a long time, doesn't Jake say? Hey, hey, well, how you been, stranger, or where you've been at, stranger? That's very common amongst Jake, amongst all the tribes. They'll say that. And it's like a, a, a scoff, you know? It's a scoff. <laughs> you, know, you, know how, you know how Jake gets? You see? You know, there's two type of strangers, you know? You see? But see, this guy, you know, he, he, wants, he, he had that whole, uh, that Jesus juice in him. God loves everybody. That guy was all over the place, man. But let's keep reading. This is a. Uh, it says that at that time you were without Yahweh Shai being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, okay, and strangers from the covenants of the promise, okay? All right? So it talked about the covenants. Now I asked this guy several times Whom did the Most High make the covenant with? I asked him several times, and every time when I was getting to, uh, to that question, he kept over-talking me and did not want to answer it. Every time. He kept shouting and screaming, basically, every time I brought it out. Because it's, it, it, it's very simple, man. It's very simple. Because when you go into the, you know, into the Torah, all right, which, you know, if you're an Israelite, they, that's something that, that he, you know, that, that you know, that, that's, that, that, that's our, uh, the, um, the beginning of our, you know, uh, 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 of our um, what's the word I'm looking for? Of our nation, so to speak. Okay, that's the beginning of our history. You you, you really got to get into it. There's a there's a lot of meat. Okay, in the Torah. Okay, the first five books. And if you don't if you don't understand them first five books, you you you're not gonna understand the entire Bible because there, there there's a lot of key things in the, in the Torah. All right, but let me get this. Let's get um, the book of uh, of Psalms, right? Let's get this because it talked about that covenant, right? This is um, Psalms 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Now, we'll, hey, who are the saints? We're going to have to get there. Who are the saints? All right. And even the, uh, the brother Mataz Asked them that a few times as well. Who are the saints? God did not want to answer it. Was that 148? It's a lock, yeah. Yep, right here. This is Psalms 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn of his people. Okay. Hey, this is the Lord talking about his people. And whom are the Lord's people? It's Israel. The praises of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. You see? The saints are the Israelites. Okay? So you can't get around all. You just can't. It's impossible. So going back to Psalms 50 and 5. It says, Gather my saints together unto me. Meaning his people. Okay? And it says, Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So the Lord, he's only dealing with, with those... Um, who made that covenant with him Which are the Israelites And those are the ones that he's gathering All right, Let me look up this word uh, uh, covenant real quick Because I looked the one up in, 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 
I looked it up in the Greek and I didn't uh, really like the definition of it. It wasn't too good. Here we go. This is the one I wanted. Covenant in the Hebrew is a lot better. All right. It's uh, uh, so I got this cracked screen. I think it's uh, Barra, Barra, uh, Barra, yeah. All right. So lucky, like I said, it's kind of hard for me to read because I got this cracked screen. I believe that that's what it was in the um, in the Hebrew, and it uh, reads here: covenant, alliance, pledge. Okay, it says. Um, let me keep going down. Agreement, pledge between the Most High and man. A covenant, divine ordinance with signs and pledges. What does it say? Friendship, marriage. Okay, you see constitution ordinance and that's what the lord gave us what the law statutes and commandments it says covenant making covenant keeping all right so basically an alliance okay a pledge okay and it was with whom the israelites that's it all right so let's get that um where was i at um let's read that again Psalms 50 and 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Okay? Now, let's get into the history. Let's get that Exodus 24. All right, this is... What the hell just happened? This is uh, Exodus 24 and 1, and it says here, And he said unto Moses, Come up unto the Lord Yahweh, thou and Aaron and uh, Nadab and... Abba, who and the seventy of the elders of Israel and worship ye afar off, and Moses alone shall come near the Lord Yahweh, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. And it says here, Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord Yahweh and the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which the Lord Yahweh hath said, we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord Yahweh and rose up early in the morning and built it an altar under the hill and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord Yahweh. And Moses took half of the blood, okay, and put in basins and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it, <clears throat> read uh, in the audience of the people. And they said, all that the Lord Yahweh had said, we will do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, behold, the blood, behold, the blood, the covenant, which the Lord Yahweh hath made with you concerning all these words. You see? Those are the people who made the covenant by blood with the Heavenly Father. All right? It's the Israelites. It's not with any other people. So these heathens cannot be a part of the, the covenant. It is simple. All right? So let's read that real quick. Let's go back to that. Um, let's go back to that Ephesians real fast. Let's read it again. Okay? So like I said, this clown wants to add everybody in, 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 into the commonwealth. To the covenant. So that makes no sense. Ephesians 2 and 12. That at that time, you were without Yahweh Shai, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promises. And who were the, we just uh, uh, broke down who the covenants were made with. Okay? And those covenants had what? Promises in them. All right? And some of those promises were what? Us inheriting uh, the world, us having the heathens in subjection. Okay, us, you know, um, issuing the laws, you know, you know, to, to, the, to, to the rest of the nation. All right. You know, uh, uh, us being the, the, that royal priesthood, as the scriptures talk about. Okay. You see. You know, I got a couple other scriptures here. Let's get Deuteronomy 4 and 1. So lucky if this is a little long. Spirit just had me, you know, really go into this because this dude vexed my spirit heavily. He vexed it heavily, man. This is uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 1, and it says here, 
Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live, and go and possess the land which the Lord Yahweh, the power of your fathers, giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord Yahweh, your power, which I command you. Okay, so clearly this is the Lord talking, you know, to the Israel. Oh, well, this is um, Moses talking to whom? The Israelites. Now, let me jump down a little bit. All right, let's jump down a little bit. So this is uh, um, Deuteronomy 14. And um, I'll start at, uh, I'll go just get to the point 13. And he declared unto you his covenant. Which he commanded you to perform, even the Ten Commandments, and he wrote them upon two uh, uh, tables of stone. You see, right there, it just shows you that the Lord made the covenant with us, the Israelites. All right, you know, I just wanted to, you know, have another precept to back that up. Okay, now let's get a uh, Second Ezra three and uh, thirty-two. Start there. Fifth chapter. Hold on, real quick. The third chapter. Here we go. This is yeah. Here we go. Let's get to the point. This is Second Ezra chapter three and thirty-two. Or is there any other people that know thee besides Israel? Or what generation has so believed thy covenants as Jacob? Okay. Go. Well, hey, right there again. The covenants. And yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. See, the Lord just said they don't think about your commandments, okay? The Lord just said that the heathens, they don't think about the commandments, all right? Let me keep reading. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and there is also that dwell, that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in israel you see it's only in israel see these heathens they're clean contrary to the heavenly father they weren't given these law statutes and commandments they weren't which i'll say this that's a part of our um heritage by the way which goes into your inheritance all right these things are are, are for us you know it's not for them it's not in their dna so to speak all right and it says or what was it that we it's like or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight. What people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the heathens. You see, our people are the ones who, you know, keep the laws, all right? You know, yes, you know, our people do fall and, and fail, okay? No doubt about it. But point being, though, is, um, you know, they, 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 they uh, uh, try to keep the laws, okay? You know, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. You know, our people, even in their lowest state, still somewhat try to keep the laws. These heathens don't, don't care about the Lord at all. Our, our, our people are the ones who try to worship the Lord to the best, even in this lowest state, even in their foolish state. These heathens, they, they, they don't think about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh at all. Okay? You see? Let's get a couple more. All right. Let's get Sirach 24 and 23. Let's get this real quick. Get these last two. Uh... These last two here. This is it's Rock 24 and 23. And it reads here. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High, you know, uh, God, all right? Most High Yahweh. Even the law which Moses commanded for an a heritage unto the congregations of Jacob. Like I said, when, when you look up that word heritage and, you know, uh, the etymology of the world, the word, it goes into the, uh, uh, it breaks down into your uh, heritage, or your inheritance, your heir into these things. These other nations, they weren't given these things, okay? All right? So, because I'll say this, this guy was talking about how, oh, you know, Paul, you know, went, went to the Gentiles because, you know, the Jakes, you know, uh, the Israelites weren't listening, so... He went to the heathen nations and blah, blah, blah. Look, the, like I said earlier, those heathen nations that were listening and that were learning, 
they were all Israelites. They were just in a Gentile state of mind. Okay? That's all they had. It, the scriptures even tell you that. It, it, in the law, it tells you if you don't keep the Passover, that, that person's going to be cut off. And you see, that's how the... Um, the uh, uh, those of the circumcision who knew that, that they were Israelites, okay, that's how they saw the other Israelites. They saw them as, you know, heathens. They got cut off. They were, you know, and that's why they were being called that. You know, it's very simple. You know, but hey, you know, you got guys out there that that are blinded. That, 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 that He's blinded by the light, man. You know, it's, it's too much for him. Wisdom is too high for a fool. The scriptures say, "Let's get this last one. This is uh, Isaiah, um, not Isaiah, um, uh, uh, um, Sirach. Uh, oh man, let's get straight to the point. This is uh, Sirach 44 and 22. It says, "With Isaac did he establish likewise for Abraham his father's sake the blessings of all men and the covenant, and made it rest upon the head of Jacob." He acknowledged him in his blessing and gave him a heritage and divided his portions among the 12 tribes that he part them. This is simple. This is only for Israel. This is not for uh, everyone else. They cannot come into our inheritance. You know, it, you know it's just, it, it's not going to happen. There's too many scriptures that, 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 that prove this point. You know, see, you got a lot of these guys, even if they know that they're Israel. A lot of them are still caught up in that Christian doctrine, because that's what all that is. That's the, the, the Christian doctrine, you know. And I'll say this: if all nations, you know, uh, you know, can repent, or you know, for lack of words, repent and and you know, they learn and get a part of this inheritance, why? Why did the Lord say in the Book of Romans that um that that Esau's re, you know rejected, even though he 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 carefully sought it with tears, you know? There was no place of repentance for him. Why, why is that written in the book of Hebrews? You know? You know, these, these guys are just through out here. They're just through, all right? But, you know, I'm going to end off this lesson. Hopefully, this was an edifying one. I know it was a little bit longer than expected, but, uh, you know, it, it had to come out. You know, I, I had to dig in, you know, keep digging and keep digging. A lot of precepts came out. A lot of words came out. And I... Uh, you know, through the spirit, I had to do a lesson on this because, like I said, this guy was, this guy vexed my spirit heavily, man. He vexed my spirit heavily. All right. And, you know, I had to do this lesson for, you know, hey, those who want to, you know, you know, listen and learn. All right. And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and the Baba Ball.